mix in as well. DeCarlo to start things off. He was the starting pitcher yesterday, but no threat of rain. And hopefully another well-played game like the one we enjoyed yesterday as this one's popped up in foul ground. And there is Lucier making the grab. That's one of the Lucers. That is Cal. He had a little extra sugar, a little more butter, I'd like to know. <laughs> well, we'll see if we can get the inside scoop on that as he's retired quickly. Two up, two down. Curveball right over the heart of plate and came back with a fastball. Wow. <laughs> that was some filthy stuff to get things started. An 11 pitch, one, two, three inning. Maine, he was four for four. He can get the party started. And he coaches a walk on four. There's a heavy hockey influence on this lineup. Reaches out and hits that one into the air in center field. A nice job flagging it down by Hogan in left center. That ball had some carry to it. He's got incredible bloodlines. As that pitch has popped up, shallow center coming on and not able to make the play. Hogan lost his cap, ball drops, good base running there by LaBranch as he makes it to second. No two on, one out. As he can, trying to run down that ball, but he just can't get to it. Now here's the other Lucio brother, and he will pop one up and foul ground. A nice play there. And that's the shortstop to Carlo ranging over and making the 3-1 breaking ball misses downstairs, so the sacks are packed here in the bottom of the... Hits a hot shot over to the second baseman, gloved cleanly by Scary, and the play is made. And Segisi is able to work out of the jam. Kobe Erski will combine for eight home runs in the postseason. Ground ball, and that'll sneak through. Pass the glove of Townsend into right field. The leadoff man is aboard. Of the game for DeVal. Ball four. Yep, and that's what he did. In that 10 run rule shutout, he was perfect. Did not allow a base runner. There's the strikeout pitch showing itself again. That's the third K already for DeVal. Asney, the left fielder, will come back or field it cleanly, and a nice job by DeVal with some traffic out of the diamond. He just has a knack of getting injured in some of the more freakish ways. Hey, he puts a hurting on the baseball on that shot to the opposite field, a one-out single. First base. <laughs> one on, one out. Michaud swings at the first one he sees. He'll slap it through the hole on the left side. A little bit of a bobble and left by Lamanzi, but nobody advances. Back-to-back -back singles has gone on. They've accepted the energy, accepted the pressure, and you can see they're swinging more comfortably at the plate. Of a slow heartbeat right now. Stay calm in a pressure situation. Ground ball left side. That'll get through. Connolly will score. Here comes Michaud behind him. He slides in safely, and New Hampshire strikes first. On a two-out knock by Mason DeVal. Well, DeVal not only helping his team out, but helping himself out as the pitcher right here. Gets a good hit, a good pitch to hit. And he drives this ball right through the infield. No chance to stop that hard shot right there. And God, you can see the power that he has when he swings. Lofting this one. And it's going to drift into foul ground, and the catch will be made by the third baseman, Kobe Erski. That's a big second out. And they're going to walk him. They're going to go ahead and take their chances with Keith Townsend. Love the, the, the body movement of these guys. Ground ball to second. Fielded cleanly by Scary. Now that will limit the damage. Could have been much worse. First full count, and it culminates in a strikeout for DeVal. That's four punch outs already. Things that I've noticed going through all these questionnaires in this New England bracket as the 2-0 is a soft liner fielded cleanly by Townsend. Very nice. One, two, three inning. 
Coach will put him in there when there's no one on, and you'll see the guys that can drive the ball. They'll wait till those base runners to put them in. Round ball to second. Scary continues to be flawless. He's now had three opportunities. Patton down in the count, 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Great bounce back inning for Steven Sagisi. A terrific job with this facility over the years. Fields in great shape as well. Right now, it's New Hampshire in good shape with a two to nothing lead. There's Mason DeVal on the mound. I like the way DeVal is pitching effortlessly early in the ball game. He's very efficient. And his a rubber and he releases. Robierski smacks one up the middle for a base hit. So their top two power hitters. The play is going to do it. And the whole team erupted ah! in applause. He won't be able to cheer anything there as he takes the backward K for the second out. They're up there battling. They know they're trying to score runs for their team. To the left side and a perfect strike across the diamond by Connolly. Strike three on the outside corner. So Evans goes down. If he put comedian on there and movie star. Yeah. Movie historian. Leads by example. Hammers this one. Played many a noise. Made plenty of noise, I should say, with that swing. But a nice play on a lunging grab by Lamazny. Just like his old man out there. Job of playing that ball with the dive. He keeps the ball at eye level. That's an excellent play. And then extra bases. On the hit for Lucier again, Tristan Lucier, their top hitter, his second hit of the game. Right here to keep New Hampshire with the lead by two. Belted, right center field. And that one's going to get all the way to the base of the fence. Heading over to third on the play is Cal Lucier in New Hampshire. Another crooked number on the board, a two-run triple by Cal Lucier. A few too many change-ups. Cal Lucier makes a great adjustment. He keeps his hands back, and this ball is hammered. He also had a triple in the game versus Vermont, so the big man getting those legs moving, putting them up and down. Is New England area. And a lot of love for guys like Raphael Devers. That pitch gets away, and a run will score. Hustling down the line is Cal Lucier for the fifth run of the game. New Hampshire a little too long and it spiked in the dirt. That'll be a base hit. Townsend up the box. Swinging at the first pitch, tapper to short, and they will go the short route. Massachusetts will to retire the side, but three more runs on the board by Braden Connolly. It's all going good for New Hampshire thus far. And a strike out there, a backward K. For DeVal. I mean, the concentration and accuracy on that throw was incredible. And that one is in and out of the glove of the right fielder, Michel. Thing all the way. A runner in scoring position. And that will get through, but not enough to score the Carlo. He stops at third. And the base hit by Horacullen Pastorisk, the horse. And he chased that one out of the zone. The seventh strikeout for DeVal. Chester, New Hampshire. North Manchester and Hookset actually merged and joined forces lately. That is going to be a hit for Chevette. Beats the rap at first base. Leadoff man aboard. Strike three on the corner at the knees. Tough pitch to hit from Aiden Horgan. Mason Michaud off the end of the bat, lifted in the air to shallow left, and that'll bloop in for a base hit in front of Gregory. 
opposite Jose Altuve. Line shot back to the pitcher, throw to second, not in time. Nice play by Aiden Horgan. Oh, he did. That ball was a rocket off the bat. Aiden Horgan, as soon as he releases the ball as a pitcher, you become a defender to field this ball. Look at that. That's a rocket shot right back at him. He turns and fires the second base. I think we're going to have a an instant replay right here. But look at the instinct from Horgan to be able to field that ball. He checks third base and fires a bullet to second. Bang, bang, play at second. Mm. And that is. Yeah, I, I think they got it right. I'm a, I would not have been surprised if they stayed with the call on the field. It's the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And it's won by DeVal. An eight-pitch battle. Mason DeVal just too good. Eight strikeouts so far today. Count for DeVal. Here's the payoff. He got him. Five more pitches to work with for DeVal. Line shot. That's a base hit. Or is it? Well, it's close over at first base. He almost got thrown out by the right fielder. Jackson Taylor. On the ground, right side. And bobbled, and everybody will be safe. Ground ball. This could do it to the shortstop over to third. No, it's in and out of the glove. And everybody is safe. Time. A little face. Seventh pitch of the attack. 2-2 two -two on the way. He got him. Congratulations, New Hampshire. You are going to Williamsport. First trip to the Little League World Series for the state of New Hampshire since 2006 and only the fifth all-time.